Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I painted my Chaos Cultists for my growing Black Legion army for Warhammer 40,000 by Games Workshop. For the glory of chaos! For the Black Legion, I always imagine failure is punished harshly and discipline in the ranks is encouraged. Hence I've gone for a more military uniformed look for my cultists rather than the ragtag rabble they're often shown to be. It's a fairly simple conversion. I've taken one of the Traitor Guardsmen from the Blackstone Fortress set and replaced his lasgun with the autogun from a Gene Stealer cultist. It fitted pretty well with a little bit of chopping, but I needed to fill a small gap at the wrist with some green stuff and the hole in his breastplate where the lasgun used to fit. I've undercoated him with Citadel Chaos Black from a spray can, making sure I've gotten it into all the nooks and crannies. We'll be using a mixture of Citadel and Reaper paints here, but you can substitute these for equivalent colours in any range. Firstly I'm going to base coat the whole figure with Reaper's Shadowed Steel using my airbrush, diluted with MIG airbrush thinners until it has a milk-like consistency. I then hid it from above with a zenithal highlight of honed steel, also diluted with the airbrush thinners. And finally, once that is dry, I spray all over with a heavily diluted mix of Citadel's Contrast Black Templar mixed with the thinners. This gives the metal some shadows and a slight bluish tint. The power of chaos gives us strength! We will have our revenge! We'll get the messy bits out of the way first. Base coat is base with Citadel Zandri Dust. Once this is dry, use Citadel's Morgas Bone and wipe the majority of the paint off on a bit of tissue. Lightly dry brush this across the base to bring out the detail. Don't worry about getting any on his feet at this stage. Use a couple of coats of Citadel's Black Templar to paint his legs. If you can, get yourself a pot holder. This one was 3D printed by the owner of my local hobby shop and it's great for preventing those dreaded null oil spills. Next we'll use Citadel's dryer bark to base coat all the leather on the model, his boots, his straps and pouches. Follow this by using Harvest Brown from Reaper to paint his fur. Next take Golden Yellow from Reaper and paint his tunic. I'm going for a parliamentarian English Civil War soldier sort of scheme here, with yellow leather and bare steel. You'll need a few coats of this to go over the silver, but it's far easier than going over the black. If you wanted to, you could paint this area white first. So there we see the yellow has become quite opaque. Next up we'll use Citadel's Cadian Flesh Tone to paint the skin and the inside of his fur cloak. I use red as a spot colour on my army, so I'm using Citadel's Mephiston Red to paint the scarf he's using to hide his identity. Take your time with this as it can be a bit tricky to reach. And finally for the base coat stage we'll use Reaper's Desert Sand to paint the bandage on his arm. If you wanted to, you could leave the model at this stage, but I like adding more detail even to my rank and file troops. Main kill burn! Main kill burn! So we're going to apply a wash to his tunic, 
For this, we'll use Citadel's contrast color, Ayundan Yellow, diluted about 50 50 with Lamy and Medium. This gives the tunic an orange tint so it's not as lemony looking. Next we'll use Citadel's Reichland Flesh Shade mixed with Lamy and Medium to shade his skin and the inside of his cloak. It's really important at this stage to let adjacent washes dry fully otherwise they'll run into each other. Then we'll use Citadel's Agrax Earth Shade to wash his leather areas and his red scarf. Follow this by washing some Nuln Oil into the recesses and moving parts on his gun. And then lastly for the washes step we'll use Gorgrunt to Fur to paint his cloak, again diluted 50-50 with Lamy and Medium. Despair for your end is near! Now that the washes are done, we're going to move on to the highlights to really make the model pop and stand out. Take some golden yellow from Reaper and just use this to paint a thin highlight line along the folds and edges of his tunic. Follow this with Reaper's Candlelight Yellow and paint only the highest points where the tunic will catch the light or suffer wear and tear. Next up we'll use a 50-50 mix of Reaper's Blade Steel and Honed Steel. And just use the flat of our brush to highlight the edges of the gun and armour, and go over any buckles or buttons we may have missed or accidentally covered with paint earlier. Relayer the skin and the inside of his cloak with Cadian Flesh Stone again, leaving the Reichland Flesh Shade in the shadows like between the fingers. Repeat this process with a mix of flesh stone and reaper's fair skin and just concentrate on the most prominent areas like his knuckles. Use Citadel's Evil Sun Scarlet to highlight his face scarf. Next we'll use Reaper's Harvest Brown and Leather Brown very carefully dry brush the fur on his cloak, making sure that we don't get any paint on what we have already painted. The last stage is layering up his leather bits. Use Dryer Bark to paint his boots, straps and pouches leaving the Agrax earth shade in the recesses.
Follow this with a thinner layer on the more prominent parts with catching flesh and finish off on the areas where the leather will become burnished with Mornfang Brown. Edge his base with Citadel's XV88. I like to mix this on my palette with some airbrush thinners so it comes out really smooth. And there he is, complete. It is done! I've dusted him with a coat of Munitor and Varnish in a spray can from Citadel, glued a little bit of grass on his base with PVA, and he's ready to join the ranks of the Black Legion. We see there he's sharing the same colours as the Marines who boss him about, but inverted so yellow is the majority colour. It helps him look distinct, and it's not very often you see bright yellow soldiers. If you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button. You can find me on Instagram under Jimmy Black Miniatures. Support us! I'll see you next time.